In this video, we're going to learn how to submit a service request in the TriRiga system. We'll also look at how to add documents to that service request as well. So the two ways to really do a service request, one way is to go to the Related Links tab, uh, the portlet in the, in the bottom of your home page, click on the plus button, go to Requests and click Submit Request. The other way is to come up to the Requests tab and go over to My Requests and click there. Now this is what will happen and what you'll see regardless of which way you chose. So we're going to be looking at the Request Central and we're going to select from the drop-down menu of Facilities. You might find that you can't see the drop-down. There is an arrow on the right-hand side of Facilities. If you click it, it will show the sub-menu. So we're going to keep this simple. We're going to just do an electrical and lighting. So we'll click that. So this particular service request, um, we know where it is. So that's what we're going to be focusing on first. So we're going to come to the very right of the request details for building. And I'm going to click the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass is going to pop open with a large selection. If I know exactly where I'm looking, say perhaps I know what city it's in, I can go to the Contains field and type like Easton, E-A-S-T-O-N, hit enter and that will show me everything that is in Easton Borderlands State Park specifically in this case. And I can make a better selection from the 41 selections that are now here. So from here I'm actually going to select Barn and we do that by the very left hand side of the screen. This is what's called the radio button. You can only select one at a time. So I'm going to select Barn, select the drop down, select the radio button, and I'm going to click OK. So this population field is now going to be filled with Barn. Uh, is there a floor that we're concerned about? If not, leave it blank. Is there a room that you're concerned about? If not, leave it blank. A lot of these fields um, aren't in use anyways. If there are no floors, then this, if you tried to select it, it would just be empty. So what's the, what's the lighting issue that I'm dealing with now? I have two different pages that I can look at. So if I don't see what I'm looking for, and I scroll down here, on this page, I'd have to go to page two. There's only 25 selections available under the total found here. So the other thing I can do is come over to the show and do show 50. Now this is one page and I can scroll up and down and see everything that's a possibility. So again, to keep things simple, let's just use our radio button, select light bulb. So as you can see, light bulb is now selected and it's in the barn. The last thing we need to add is our describe your request. So what is the problem? The light bulb over the main entrance of the barn is out. Now it's possible that it's out, it's possible that it's broken, it's possible that it's missing altogether. Make sure that you put those details in there. There is no bulb. Okay. Once you have all the information in there, the last thing that we can do is we can actually scroll down to the bottom under Related Documents and we can upload a document if need be. Now what is a document? A document can be anything from paperwork that needs to go along with this request or even an image that you have taken, maybe a picture using a cell phone or something, um, that you want to attach for visual reference. So the way we're going to do that is again under Related Documents Portlet, we're going to come all the way to the right and we're going to click Upload. A new window is going to pop open and it's going to be our uh, file upload window. There are three different ways we can do this. We can drag and drop the files to here. So if you have the image or the document on your desktop or somewhere on your computer, you can actually just drag it and drop it here. You can also do the select multiple files for upload or single upload and it'll uh, open up a window. So the window opens up, you find out where the document is and select it and put it right in there. Right now I'm just going to do a sample upload. So that document or that image now becomes part of the file once we click down at the bottom the submit button. So as you can see here that document is now part of this service request. So you have now entered the location, the service request problem, the description, and any supporting documentation. Once that's all done, come up to the very top on the right hand side and click the submit button. So another option we have for a service request 
if we come up to requests tab and we go over to my requests and come back to the request central we have our different selections of the type of request we also have this other one called an equipment service request now this is basically we'll do the service request based on a piece of equipment not necessarily a function so if we click on equipment service it's going to open up to a slightly different window than you saw on the other ones the benefit of this page is that you can go come right down to the required asset field, select the magnifying glass, and choose the asset that you're actually looking for, that piece of equipment. So let's, for example, take a look at, uh, we're looking at a backflow preventer, and it shows that there's two of them here. Um, which one am I looking for? Well, there's a Borderland, and there is Veterans Memorial. So I am actually want to look at the Borderland State Park one. So if I come all the way to the left and I click the radio button, remember radio button means you can always select one. So I click the backflow preventer, and that's the piece of equipment that we're doing a service request for. And I come up top and I click the OK button. Now notice when I click the OK button, all of these fields populate based on that piece of equipment. So that particular required asset, that piece of equipment, is already attached to the visitor center and it has the floor of the basement. So it saves you a couple little steps. Um, it's one way, if you happen to know the piece of equipment that you're looking to do the service request on, it might save you a couple steps and make things a little bit faster. All the other steps in this process are the same. You put in your request, uh, attach any related documents, and submit. Uh, click Submit, and that will generate the request.